Hi, I'm Kate, and today I'm going to teach you how to manifest success in your self-publishing journey. I personally have been using manifestation for a little over a year. Now, you might know me, and if you don't, I made $50,000 in 2020 from self-publishing. However, whenever I stopped using these manifestation methods, my income went down. And there are a few reasons for this, which I will go over in this video. Okay, the first question you might be asking, is manifestation magic? Are you trying to get us to believe that we need to do this mystical, magical thing in order to succeed? The answer is maybe. Because manifestation is definitely pushed online as this magical thing that brings universal energy to you, etc, etc. However, you don't have to believe this for manifestation to work. Manifestation is a way of changing your mindset in order to allow success to come to you. A lot of people that I know who are trying to self-publish have extremely low confidence in themselves, and this can actually harm your self-publishing journey. If you don't believe that you can succeed, then it's going to be much, much harder to succeed. Now, if you're like me and you at least somewhat believe in the more spiritual aspect and use it as kind of a spiritual journey, then doing something like collecting crystals that have meanings for financial success can be helpful. I use tiger's eye, I use fool's gold, I use citrine, I use any green gems that I can find, but just because you don't believe in this spiritual aspect doesn't mean that you can't still use these methods because these methods are not just for people who have this magical spiritual connection to the universe or whatever. If you can't tell, I'm still a little bit skeptical of some of the spiritual aspects, but it's, you know, a personal thing for each person what you choose to believe. On to actually how manifestation works. Manifestation if it's not literally just bringing you money, it shifts your mindset and allows you to be more open to receiving money. And this isn't just, oh, I'm too afraid of success and so I'm gonna not do anything that could make me money. It's also just, well, what if my book doesn't do very well? Or what if I'm not good enough? What if people leave me bad reviews? And I'm going to tell you that shifting this mindset to, well, my book is going to sell well. My book is going to get good reviews. I'm going to make X amount of money from this series. It's going to allow you to release a lot of your inhibitions so that you're actually putting the work in to make sure that these things happen. If you have any questions about how I use manifestation, personally in my self-publishing journey or how I can help you with your own, please comment them in the comment section below. I love hearing from you and I love answering questions. Now we're going to move on to how to use manifestation, especially in regards to your self-publishing journey. A lot of things about manifestation are very general, like I want love or I want success or I want a boat. <laughs> But there's not as much info on using this for your self-publishing journey itself. So that's what I'm going to go over because this is how I allow myself to succeed. And I know the wording of that is very odd because you would think, well, of course I want to succeed. But oftentimes if your mindset is wrong, you're still going to be holding yourself back without even intending on doing so. The first thing I recommend doing is coming up with affirmations. These are simple statements that you tell yourself. You can tell them in the mirror every morning or you can repeat these on your way to work or you can sit and schedule like a time for meditation or a specific time for manifesting where you say these things out loud. And I know it's going to feel ridiculous at first. Trust me, I still sometimes feel weird 
whenever I first start my affirmation soundtrack in my car and then I'm driving around alone and I'm just, you know, repeating after this guy with his very deep and calming voice. But it, it helps. If you do these regularly, if you do these every single day, it helps you to shift your mindset from believing that you might not do well and worrying about all of these bad things that could happen. And it helps you shift into, well, I don't have to worry about these bad things because good things are coming. This doesn't necessarily mean that everything is going to actually go perfect, but it allows you to release your fears of things being imperfect so that you can do the best that you can. Another really important aspect of affirmations are confidence. And if you don't have the confidence, if you're still like, well, should I even be publishing? Or should I even try to write a book? Or should I even, you know, try to put this in the world? What am I doing? You need to fake it. You need to pretend that you believe these things until you start to actually believe these things. Whenever you're repeating these affirmations to yourself, every single day, especially if you do it multiple times a day or for long periods of time, you're going to start believing, yes, I can self-publish this book and I will succeed with this book and I am good enough. You need to change these to I will have statements or this will happen type statements. You want to go from, well, I wish I could make enough money with self-publishing to pay my mortgage. You need to go from that to self-publishing will pay my mortgage. Now, this not, may not seem like a huge difference, but you're just taking away the wishy-washy, well, maybe, possibly, I hope. It's taking that away and turning it into a definitive statement till you believe that you will have this good thing that you want. And you can use this and you can make your own affirmations or you can look some general ones up on YouTube. Sometimes I just look up ones on YouTube that I can listen to until I fall asleep to kind of help my self-conscious absorb that message. Affirmations that you can use on your own time um, regarding self-publishing itself. My book will hit the top 10 in its genre. My book will get 50 pre-orders. My book will have above four star reviews overall on Amazon. My book will sell well. My series will be a best-selling series. I will make enough money to pay my bills from self-publishing. My first series will be a massive success. Now, I know it sounds really scary to tell yourself you're going to have all these amazing, incredible things, and you might think that you're setting yourself up for disappointment. However, the reason that you're doing this is because if you don't believe deep in your heart that you deserve to succeed, then you're going to struggle. Not only are you doing all of this, which is basically a full-time job in itself, you are also fighting with your subconscious, which is sitting there and saying, well, why am I putting all this effort in if it's not even going to result in anything? Or is it really even worth it to be doing this? Or am I worth it as a person? You need to get away from this mindset because it's making it so much harder for you to do your other tasks. If you're frozen with fear about doing these things, then you're not going to get anything done. Especially when you deal with mental health issues, these can be so insidious and they can make it totally impossible for you to succeed. So I want you to try doing these affirmations every day and just think about what will happen when you succeed. Not if, when you succeed. That leads me into my next point, which is creating a vision board. I highly recommend starting a Pinterest board for manifesting your success. And I know this sounds a little silly, but trust me, make a Pinterest board and just put all of the things that you want to do on that board. Here's an example of mine. You can see I have brand new cars. I have a cute little farm in the country. And this is my 2022 Pinterest board where I'm having all of these cute things. And these are very attainable goals if I actually buckle down and put the work in. The reason I have this Pinterest board 
is so that I can remind myself, this is what I'm working for. This is what I'm going to have. Because if I tell myself I'm going to have this, then I'm going to make absolutely sure that I do everything in my power to have that thing. If I focus on the bad things, if I focus on whether or not I can pay my rent come December or whenever, if my income keeps dropping, or if I consider what will happen if my car breaks down, then I'm going to dwell on these awful things and I'm not gonna get anything done. Here's my other Pinterest board. And you might think I am just totally off my rocker with this one. This is my Pinterest board for 2023. This is no longer living on a quaint farm. This is no longer buying a decent car that doesn't have engine problems. This is traveling in a private jet. This is fistfuls of money. This is designer handbags. This is, you know, doing anything I want, any time with my life, looking fabulous doing it going on magical vacations, taking my toddler to Bora Bora with me. This is where I'm going to be in two years, not this is where I want to be in two years. This is where I'm going to be. And you know what? Even if it doesn't happen, I have still spent however much time looking at that Pinterest board and saying, that's what I'm gonna have. And to have that, I need to take these steps and just kind of listening to my brain and the good side of my brain that's saying, this is what you need to do to have the thing you want, instead of listening to the negative parts of my brain that are like, oh, well, you're never going to do these things. If I have something solid to look at and say, this is where I'm gonna be, I'm gonna sit in a bathtub full of money <laughs> that I earned from self-publishing, then I'm gonna work for that goal. If you're thinking, well, there's no way I can do this, you need to do these affirmations. And if it helps you a little bit with convincing yourself that this can be done, at the beginning of 2020, I published my first reverse harem romance book. In that year, that one series made me 40,000 of my $50,000 from one series. It was a massive success. No idea why, it just was a huge success. This book did incredibly well. My car was repossessed in March of 2020. I could not pay my $300 car payment in March of 2020 because I hadn't received any of my royalty checks yet because of how Amazon's system works. So my car was repossessed. So you know what? It's doable. Anybody can do this. Anybody can succeed. You just, you need to have the mindset. You need to tell yourself that you are going to succeed because subconsciously this is going to take away the barriers that keep you from succeeding. And I do recognize that I was incredibly privileged because I was able to quit my job to focus on self-publishing because my husband believed in me and that did lose us our car, but it gained us so much more. And this was because I was telling myself this will succeed. This series will succeed because it has to. And if you have any other questions, please comment below and make sure to subscribe and follow so that I can continue to make these self-publishing help videos. I want everyone to succeed. I believe that everyone has room to succeed and I will see you next time.